Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you can see by the title, I'm doing like a trying new makeup products. Like these are not necessarily new to like the market, but they are new to me. And I was just, I went to Ulta, I saw these, I was like, oh my god, I want to try that. So that's what we're doing today. We're just trying a bunch of new, mostly base products. And yeah, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and please subscribe so you can join the little fam that we're building here and turn on your post notifications so you never miss when I post a video. So if you want to see what products I tried out, then keep on watching. Okay, so my face is ready, it's primed, I have my brows on, and we're gonna start off with this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I've never used, well I've never used any of these products, but I've never used this. I was actually in Ulta looking for the stick foundation, but they didn't have that, so I wanted to try this one. Wet n Wild is a great affordable brand. So let's see, it claims to not have any flashback, which is great. I got mine in the shade 365C Soft Beige. Let's, let's see if I can match my foundation because that's always an issue. Okay, so I'm gonna move my mirror here closer to me and I'm actually going to zoom you guys in a little more. I have my Morphe sponge and I also have my Luxie brush. I'm feeling doing like half a face with the sponge, half a face with a brush. Let's, let's do that. Okay, so I'm opening the foundation and it has this little paddle thing. I've never tried a foundation with this paddle thing, so let's see. I'm just gonna, uh, I don't know if that's actually the most sanitary. So yeah, let's just go right into it. Oh, I don't know how much I'm supposed to apply, so let's not do that much. Okay, so on this side of my face, I'm gonna use my Morphe highlight and contour sponge and just pounce to this in. So this kind of feels really nice on the skin. Like I don't feel like I'm wearing anything. Is it supposed to be mattifying? Helps eliminate white particle reflection. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to be full coverage or like what it exactly but I like the way it looks and I think that the color is good so I did awesome I'm proud I'm proud all right so I went ahead and applied like the same ish amounts that I did on my other side and now I'm actually gonna buff this in with my brush um let's see eyebrow love that this is pretty well buffed in um i think that the color is kind of awesome it kind of doesn't even look like i'm wearing anything let's see let me zoom you guys in a little this is the side with the brush this is the side with the beauty blender so the side with the beauty blender looks nice um i think it applied well with both it definitely has more full coverage with the side of the brush as I buffed it in and you know brushes don't like normally absorb so much product but I like this foundation this foundation was actually six dollars like $5.99 and it feels good I kind of live for it wow okay let's set it and let's see how it works with the setting powder. So for powders, I actually picked up these two. This is the Maybelline Fit Me in 128 Warm Nude. Now, believe it or not, but I don't think that I've ever tried any of the Fit Me products. Maybelline is great and I, I used to wear them all the time, but there was a foundation that they had that broke me out like so bad one time, like all over my forehead and I was like, whoa, let's, let's take it easy. So I didn't really go 
back to Maybelline, but Maybelline is great. I wanted to try their loose powder, but they didn't have it at the Ulta that I went to. So I picked up the pressed powder and I picked up like a sample size of this Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder because I was talking to the lady at Ulta and she recommended to try this one and the Tarte one so I don't get flashback and stuff. I love Cover FX. Cover FX is one of my favorite high-end brands. I just it's vegan it's cruelty free the ingredients are awesome and it doesn't break me out I use their power play foundation all the time if you've seen in any of my other videos that's most of the time the foundation that I use so let's give these powders a try okay so I'm gonna grab my contour sponge and with the cover effects powder it has a cute little sifter I'm gonna wow I just realized that I'm not even wearing concealer Okay, let me put on concealer and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back now. I went ahead and added concealer. I used my baby highlight and contour sponge. Now we can go ahead and set our face with powder. This powder is so fine. Like it feels like nothing on the skin. But now I'm gonna go in with fluffy like powder brush, I guess. And I'm gonna use the Fit Me powder to set the rest of my face so face is set let's move on okay so I went ahead and zoomed you guys in a little bit so you can see how smooth my under eyes look because of that powder from cover effects I'm kind of living for that as for my face my face doesn't look cakey at all um but I don't know I just the powder, I don't know if it's the powder or what it is, but my face feels a little bit tingly, which is like kind of not okay. But let's see. Um, but it doesn't look cakey, which is good. I like that. Powders usually make me look so cakey, especially my dry areas. We'll see. I don't know. What do you think? So I forgot to tell you how much these products were. So the mini cover effects was uh, $14 and then the Fit Me was where is it $7.42 so they're pretty good price pretty affordable this cover effects though I'm kind of really I'm loving the way that it looks under the eyes um the Fit Me we'll see we'll see about her so moving on for the rest of the face I'm gonna quickly do some contour bronzer and blush off of camera and then we are gonna come play with this Makeup Revolution highlighting palette, which was what I was the most excited for. So I will be right back. So going into this highlight, this is the Makeup Revolution Vintage Lace Intense Metallic Cream Powder Highlight. So it brings four shades. This is what the highlighters look like. They have like this very yellowy, tone but it has these champagne like accents this one was my favorite this one is a like gold highlight but it has these pink glitter reflex that are just so beautiful and then we go more into this neutral like champagne color and then we have this kind of weird chromey like brown green situation happening over here so i'm gonna quickly swatch these and put them on my arm so you guys can see how they look both of those colors showing through like also with the gold and the pink shimmer like i don't know if you guys can see that but it has the pink particles now for this rosy neutral color like this one is the only one that doesn't look to have any actual glitter in it it's more of just like a beautiful sheen very very dark like this would look awesome on these deeper skin tones i think i might go in with this neutral one so i'm not really doing full glam and i don't need the glitter so if you have a thing with like having glitter on your cheek i might not recommend this to you but let's let's see I'm, i want to keep trying them out playing with them and see what they look like they are a little bit powdery i don't know if i said that already but they are a little bit powdery let's go in and see what it looks like i'm just using this regular highlighting brush that i always use and let's put it on our cheek wow that is intense that is very intense very intense moment whoa okay i turn my head to the side it's like this 
super pop like kind of even looks kind of wet you know I kind of love this wow looks nice okay so I think I'm actually gonna try the other one that I really really wanted to try on my other side so it's this one after I swatched it I feel like some of the pink particles kind of went away but let's see so it looks like this on the brush oh yeah you can definitely see the sparkles in this one um I don't have a lot of light in here so you can't really see like a direct reflection but whoa. yeah definitely if you don't like glitter in your highlights, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I mean for like a night out, a nice super glam look, I'll probably go for it. But it's just, it's still beautiful, like, I don't know if you can see that. It's just a lot. <laughs> like there's, there's some glitter, like pink, like straight up pink glitter. Yeah, so that's what both of these look like. I'm living for this one more because it's more sheen, it's more like bam, it's more highlight. Well, this one is beautiful, but you can definitely, definitely see those pink sparkles in here. But this was still so affordable. It's, I think it's great to have something like this for when you're going for a little bit more extra or you know, you're just trying to have some fun, do some cute little looks this was how much was this this was ten dollars so i think that it's super it's super worth it like it's ten dollars you get four huge highlight shades in here and i don't know they're super cute you let me know what you think but let's move on okay so next i'm actually going to try these kiss lashes these are from the couture faux mink collection this is actually a Best of Beauty Allure of 2017. So these are called Little Black Dress. I wanted to try these out because I've tried Kiss Lashes before. Kiss Lashes are great affordable drugstore brand lashes. But I don't personally in my collection have like an everyday lash, you know? So I kind of like these because they because they looked wispy and they looked kind of natural. They didn't look super like voluminous or anything and they looked kind of short. So, I don't know, I feel like these could be an everyday lash. Let's see how it is to apply, how it looks, and I'm just gonna do a super quick, like, eye makeup look beforehand. Oh, and we're also going to try out this Essence Mascara. This is the Volume Hero Mascara and Waterproof. I believe that it was Kathleen Lights who talked about this in one of her favorites videos or something like that. Um, or, like, one of her videos, I'm not sure. I think it was this one, but I didn't know. I do know that she talked about an essence mascara. So I wanted to give this a try. So I'm gonna do my eyes off of camera and let's play with these. So now I'm just gonna grab my eyelash curler, curl my eyelashes. Essence mascara volume hero. I'm just gonna quickly get in real close to the camera and apply this and share my thoughts after. So I went ahead and applied this mascara on my top and bottom lashes on both of my eyes. I kind of really like this. I don't think that it's like super volumizing. I think it's more of lengthening. It separates your lashes really well. I don't know if you guys can see. Super up close and personal here. Um, but yeah, this mascara was literally $5. So I think it's great. It's a waterproof formula. We'll have to test that out. But... Oh. <laughs> but um yeah i don't know i think i really like this mascara this is what the lashes look like they're very nice and natural looking and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and apply these i had and applied the first one off of camera because i wasn't recording i'm so sorry but i kind of love these like i don't know if you guys can see but it just looks so natural like it literally doesn't even look like much longer than my regular lashes with mascara so i just feel like it was so easy to put on i have my other one here it's drying off it's chilling waiting for a minute but i love the way it looks to so this is what it looks like without the lash and this is what it looks like with the lash but i don't know i think that this is really nice for every day oh love that 
Okay, I'm just gonna end up putting this one on and I will be right back to finish off the last product. So I went ahead and applied my eyelashes and my lipstick. This is just the Hank and Henry Lip Aesthetic Matte Liquid Lipstick in Petal Pusher. So love this, it smells like freaking cupcake frosting, it's so good. So I'm gonna go in with the last product that I have today. This is the Pacifica Crystal Dew Setting Spray. Now this is from their new like crystal collection, which I am so in love with. I need to go get more of these products just to try them out because I'm so into crystals. Like I wanted to do a makeup series of like just getting inspiration from like a bunch of crystals and doing like eye looks with them and like, I don't know, it's just, that's something that I'm thinking of doing, so we'll see long down the road how we do that. So, as I said, this is the Crystal Dew Setting Spray Rose Quartz and Flower Extracts. For all skin types, it is 100% vegan, cruelty-free, brings two ounces in here, and it was $10. So, oh, it has a nice mist. That's really good. That's, like, really fine. Okay, so I'm just going to apply this. Ooh, you can you can smell the flower in there. You can smell the flower. Um, if you don't like scented like setting sprays, then you might not like this, but I'm just gonna give it a spritz all over my face and see how I like it. I am like a setting spray whore, so like I love applying like so much. Um, that was kind of great. Okay, so you do smell the flower, like I said. But it doesn't really linger for much, like it's already kind of gone. Uh, wow, it made this highlight pop a little, I think. Like, I think it made the highlight, like, really, like, more wet looking. I kind of like that. Okay, so there are not really any, like, droplets on my skin. It feels really good. It feels refreshing. I feel like, I don't know, we'll have to see how it works. Because I am a ride or die, like, Morphe setting spray wearer like that's my favorite spray that is my favorite setting spray of all time i feel like i would just use this like as a refreshing spray because i like the smell i i hate flowers honestly like the flower smell but this is a very nice and subtle kind of refreshing flower smell so kind of love that okay you guys so let's um ignore my hair it's kind of doing whatever it wants to right now i don't know i have to fix it but yeah that completes this video i hope you guys enjoyed and just learned about a couple new products if you haven't heard of them already and you see how they reacted with my skin so yeah please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below and click the notification bell so you never miss when i post i post wednesdays and sundays so yeah i love you guys so 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 much and thank you for watching bye